Hello, I'm Isabel. I'm the Lampshade Daisy. I make lampshades are uh, soft ones which come on frames like these and rigid ones which are basically have a ring at the top and a ring at the bottom and card um, holding the rings together. Soft lampshade frames come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. Um, for example, there's this which is called a straight empire, which as you can see has got a fixed gimbal fitting. This one is also a straight empire, but it's got a duplex fitting, which fits onto a shade carrier, and the shade, it's the shade carrier that fits onto the lamp. I also have this, which is a um, bowed empire with a scalloped base, and that has got a reversible gimbal fitting, which is excellent if you want to be able to tilt the lamp, the lamp shade, so that um, you can use it for reading more easily. And then I have another one, which is just a little one to show you a, di a different style of lamp shade. But I have about 12 different shapes and they come in a huge number of different sizes. I can also have lampshades specially made for clients. Um, they can be made with different um, sizes and they can be made with different fittings and the fittings in particular places so that they fit on particular lamps. This one, for example, has got an American washer fitting which uh, fits onto a harp fitting on a lamp and it has a finial which, which secures it at the top. Another thing I have are um, candle clip lampshades which have got this little fitting which fits over the, um, over the bulb. They're usually used on wall lights or chandeliers. They can come in two thirds size like that. So that's very effective if you're using it um, for a wall lamp. But if you wanted a chandelier one, um, I have the, full, the actual full shade. Just moving on to soft lampshades. This is a plain or tailored lampshade, which has got a, a self trim, which means the trim is made of the same fabric as the outer. It has an ivory silk crepe satin lining, which is really nice and it reflects the light beautifully. This one here is a false pleated lampshade. So it has the dark lining and then the contrast pleats, which have been applied to the top. This is a gathered lampshade. And as you can see, it's got a contrast trim. Again, it has got a, um, an ivory crepe satin lining. This is a, a loose pleated lampshade. So it, it's more gathered at the bottom and pleated at the top. And on this one, the pleats go in both directions. So it's, it's very contemporary. And this one here is a swathed lampshade. Now swathing works well where the lampshade has got the wasting um, so the pleats can go round, wrap around the frame nicely. And as you can see, it's got pom-poms. And this one's got a um, reversible gimbal on it, so it can be used like that on the lamp. To make a soft lampshade, you start by binding the rings at the top and at the bottom. And as you can see, I've started binding this one, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You then fit the cover this is a knife pleated cover and you fit the cover to the frame pinning it all the way around and I've sewn the bottom part of this one but I've left the pins in at the top so you can see how it would look and then just to show you the finished article at the, looking at the bottom not at the top obviously um, there it has its um, own self trim this is a rigid lampshade um, here is the starting point um, with the lining that's been laminated onto the special lampshade material and then the cloth on the outside. And then when it's assembled, it looks like this, which is a plain one, and this one, which has been laced around the top.